What's up guys, BVHD here, back with another episode of Skilled Road to the Ultimate Skill Team, sorry about that. Um, obviously this is episode 2, it's been a while since I brought one of these out, due to the fact that I really haven't been playing FIFA, but um, I've managed to get the second one out for you, um, and if you know your 5 star skillers, you'll know who is the next, well second lowest rated 5 star skiller on the game, and we'll get onto the squad that we rolled this player in, and the player himself. So as you can see, dum dum dum. Uh, the player we the player is Marcio Azevedo. Um, you know, five star skills, two star weak foot. And we look at his pace, he's got eighty seven pace, sixty three shooting, sixty seven passing, seventy three dribbling, sixty eight defending, and sixty three heading. He cost me twenty seven and a half K. Uh, has three goals in six games for me, all online obviously. Uh, he's five foot eight, and I've already mentioned about the weak star being uh, two and obviously five star skills left footed um, and he's the only defender as I'm sure you all know only five star skill defender on the game um, now for me what I did in game is just to get the best out of him is I did shift him played him in a few positions I did swap him with Richarlison um, and played him at defensive mid for a few games um, but I didn't find that very efficient so what I did is I moved Richarlison in game to left back um, and I moved Azevedo to where Ortega is and then swapped Ortega with Jar Jar um, and then put Jar Jar at defensive mid if you've followed any of that. Um, the team isn't anything special, it's just a team I wanted to use. There is one player on the seven chemistry, um, but this isn't a squad builder, so that doesn't really matter. Um, this is just a team I enjoyed to use him in um, and decided to choose to make. Um, if you want to know anything about the squad, then uh, I'll leave a foot head link in the description if it's on my channel, if it's on random FIFA videos then uh, go, pop, over to, pop over to my channel, click on the video, and the link will be in the description for it if you want to make it and how much it is and all the rest of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, getting back onto the player in hand, Marcio Azevedo. Um, he is a very solid player, very agile, very well, good balance on him. We'll get into his in-game stats in a moment, but he uh, has brilliant balance, uh, great at going past players, um, and he's a brilliant attacking outlet. Uh, defensively, he's okay, but being 5 foot 8 um, and he's not too strong, even though that balance is quite good. Um, it can leave you a bit exposed because he does have a high attacking work rate and medium defensive. So he does tend to bomb forward a lot, um, which is great if you're a good defender. Then you won't really, it won't bother you. You can just use your centre backs. If not, uh, and you do struggle a little bit, then he's probably not the player for you. However, if you wanted to use him in a more advanced role on the pitch, you can play him as a left midfielder um, in a three-five-two. I I would recommend or 442 whatever you enjoy to play um, as long as he has I think it's three strong Brazilian links from the same league so for all from Liga de Brazil he will get full chemistry and you can play him as a left mid which personally I've used him in a, in a left mid before and I enjoyed him a lot more in that role um, but yeah we'll talk about his strong points and weak points in a moment as we get on to the in-game stats and the goals at the end and a few clips we got with him um, but I will be right back with that guys so see you in a minute Okay guys, so we are back with the in-game stats of Marcio Azevedo. As you can see there, very consistent throughout, 70 rated, mostly um, yellow stats, the odd red or darker stat, I think the 64, that was the long pass and heading accuracy and also his volleys, but everything apart from that on his skill attributes are in the 70s plus. Um, and then here, physical attributes, very good indeed, good sprint speed. Good balance as well at 82. And some very appealing mental attributes as well. That vision, you know, it's not bad for a silver left back. You've got to bear in mind he is a left back. Um, and as you can see, this border, we've got a new, nice new border. The top in-game stats there. If you didn't manage to catch it on the on the video, like just before. Um, it was sprint speed at 92. Dribbling at 75. 76 acceleration. 73 jumping. 79 balance and 73 crossing. 5 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot as we've already mentioned. Traits is skill dribble. It's the only one he has but it's the only one he needs. Um, as you see in some of these clips here. A very good player indeed. A get, good at getting down the wing. Um, taking on players with, with pace and uh, his dribbling is absolutely brilliant. Indeed the price it says there 39 to 44k depending on which console isn't correct guys just to let you know that is um 
you know, that's before the market crash kind of thing. It's before players' prices have started to change. I picked mine up, as you saw earlier. I think it was about 27k. Uh, PS3, I expect, will be a bit dearer, but I can't be 100% sure. So, yeah. Um, and his rating, I will give him, I think, considering I'd give him a, probably a 7 or an 8. I don't know, actually. Yeah, probably about probably a 7 or an 8, yeah, out of 10. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. I'm sure you've used him before. Let me know what rating you think he should be getting. Um, and his bad, but his weak points really the only thing I could put him down on is his height. He's not the tallest of players in the world. Not that that really, you know, makes a difference or makes any, you know, doesn't really affect him that much. As that and possibly I don't know. Um, which and his heading as well because he's small. He's not very good in the air. And then the only other thing I could think of at all is the two star weak foot. That's the only other thing, you know, when you're going down the wing, especially because he's such an attacking outlet, great attacking outlet, you you know, he can only really shoot with that left foot of his. Um, and that is a bit of a problem, I suppose. But other than that, guys, he's an absolutely brilliant player, and I'm pretty sure he will be making it into the, the skill squad, basically, because there's no other five-star skilled defenders. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, 30 likes would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you next time. Cheers.